what's going on guys zach here back with another video and today it's kind of a special one um let me grab something real quick and the reason that this is so special today is because i'm going to be doing my first uh kind of tutorial um walking you guys through how to do this and what this is is this is flame anodizing something that i've been messing around with with the last little bit so this was my first project my titanium soul built mark smith and from there i've kind of gone a bit crazy i don't know how well this is going to pick up but i've flame anodized scrubbed a little bit of the finish off of my open door policy by lens northwest kind of went with this antique sort of finish but on the tip here i went with more of like a flame burst and then my latest is this guy and I'll throw up some some uh, b-roll of what all this is but that's what I want to walk you guys through uh, how I do my flame anodizing so that's today's project um, and I figured I'd take you guys along with me show you how I get these results and how you can do them yourself at home if this is you know if you want a little bit of custom gear and you know you want something completely unique to yourself and so let's uh let's show you how to do it so here is a better look at that finish this was the coyote brown i don't know if it's cerakote or what they put on it but i have this obviously isn't coyote anymore a little bit here but so this is my open door policy a closer look at the marksmith and I love the brass look to the bronze look to it plus those pops of blue and purple especially on that pocket clip that is probably this is probably my favorite piece because of how those pops of color turned out and then get this guy and this is probably my favorite I started with this barrel piece here on the tip and went for again sort of that burst finish and then did the pocket clip and then said you know what the rest of it is looking a little too plain Jane for me so I went ahead and flame anodized the rest of the body okay so first thing you're gonna want to do is this is what we're working with here so just a little basic titanium pry bar. Um, give it a little rinse. And that's gonna make sure that, you know, a lot of the excess oils and everything stay off of the pry bar. And it's gonna give you a good clean surface to work with. And so on the, uh, on the Marksmith, all those pops of color, the blues, the purples, are all the oil from my fingerprints burning and it kind of creates those spots of color so that's what you're into then go ahead and um don't touch you know leave your pry bar or leave whatever you're flame anodizing leave that alone and then get to work but if you want a really smooth clean finish make sure you rinse it off make sure you rub it down and um, that that's going to get rid of all the oils and everything that's going to create those uneven pops of color so now that we have it washed let's continue up with the setup and I'm gonna uh, go over what uh, my torch setup looks like so let's go over okay now that we're outside here is my torch setup so what I have here is a Victor oxyacetylene torch kit so it's a mixture of acetylene and oxygen um, if you're gonna be flame anodizing it's gonna be probably best to go for a lower temp torch like a map gas or something like that but this is all I got. So this is what we're using. Also, you're going to want something to go ahead and prop up what you're going to be torching. So what I have is just this uh, wire coat hanger. And for me, that seems to get the job done enough. So don't need anything fancy, just something to set your stuff on. And so now we're going to take our pry bar and carefully set it on our hanger. And now we get to have fun. 
Now I get that this probably isn't the fanciest thing in the world, but this is what we're gonna do. So, be as careful as I can be, being that I have a makeshift microphone stand on me, but you're gonna grab your torch, your lighter, and what I'm gonna do right now is just open this up, light it, and like I said, you want a super, super low temp. And so to achieve that, probably about right there is what we're looking for. All we're gonna do here is just really light passes along the surface. And with that, you're gonna get a really subtle color change. It really is up to you with the finish that you're going for. If you want more pops of color, focus your flame on that area. But if not, just kind of give it some light passes. I'm gonna go on the other side here and give it some more light passes on this side. You're gonna first see a lot of ch color change on the thinner areas of metal. With the thicker parts, you're gonna have to focus your flame to get those colors just because the thinner the metal, the easier it is for that heat to transfer over. No one piece is ever gonna be the same. Which is what I like about flame anodizing is with normal anodization, you can get a really consistent finish. And if that's what you're after, then by all means go for it. But for me personally, I like that each thing is different. You know, with these lower heats, you're gonna be sitting here for a minute, especially with thicker materials and thicker pieces of titanium or steel or whatever. Um, it's gonna take a minute. So just sit back, relax, and let the, uh, let the torch do its thing. Because you can always add more heat, but it's really hard to go back. Um, and you can scrub it off using uh, like an acid etch or something like that. It's gonna be a lot simpler if you just take your time. And that's really all it takes. Don't touch it, because it's hot. Obviously. So let it cool. You could use a cool rag. Um, I'm just gonna let this sit for a bit. I might grab a rag, cool it down, and then we'll go over the results inside in a minute. So um, yeah, once you're done, just cool it down and then uh, hop back in here and let's, let's talk about it. Some time later. And there you have it. Here is that final product. Now it's not perfect. I could have spent more time on this, but that's as easy as it gets. It's as easy as setting up a torch and just going to town. And I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any additional questions, leave them down in the comments. Um, if you've tried flame anodizing or any customization, let me know down in the comments below as well. Um, and if you've made it this far, give this video a thumbs up. And that's all I got for you guys today. Just figured I'd, uh, I do some show and tell and show you how I do my custom work. So with that said, until next time, peace.